California law requires child care centers built before 2010 to test their faucets and drinking fountains for lead and report those findings to the state. If levels are above standards, they have to be fixed. Some of that data has been released, and while most centers are in compliance, about a fourth across the state were not. We're really concerned. Susan Little is a senior advocate from the Environmental Working Group. The nonprofit sponsored the testing law and was the first to get the testing data. What's alarming here is that we really see this as potentially the tip of the iceberg because um, the data we received represents only about 50% of licensed child care centers. We're still waiting to get the results from the rest of them. The CDC says there's no safe level of lead. One San Diego child care center has the highest testing result in California so far. La Petite Academy near Rancho Penasquitos had one test from last August, registering 11,000 lead parts per billion. The state requirement is five parts per billion or less. In a statement, a spokesperson for La Petite Academy says the source with the highest lead samples were drinking fountains that had not been used since before the pandemic, adding that the fountains were immediately removed and other water sources repaired. After retesting, they say all water sources are in compliance. No one wants a child to have lead, it leads to all these downstream effects. You know? Dr. V. Nguyen is a San Diego-based pediatrician. She's also chair of the American Academy of Pediatrics California Committee on Environmental Health. She says children are generally at higher health risks from lead exposure. It's toxic to brain cells, um, and it can increase the risk of uh, ADHD, autism, because it just shifts the IQ curve. La Petite Academy officials say they have no reports of anyone getting sick. The second highest lead reading from drinking water at a child care center in San Diego County was from the East Lake Community Church Preschool located in Chula Vista. A test from last October revealed 570 lead parts per billion, well above the state's five part per billion baseline. The director of the preschool says in a statement two bathroom sinks had elevated levels and those sinks were solely used for hand washing. The statement says hardware has been replaced and the sinks are restricted from use while the center awaits results from retesting. Matt Hoffman, KPBS News.